Hi, this is Mike D at Down Pepper Tree Lane. We're at the Mountain Getaway House. Let's start with the living room and this great piece. If you can find a little wooden shelf like this at an estate sale, grab it. Because look at how many pieces of interest it holds. I've got a little jar up there. I've got one of these uh, Nutcracker soldiers. I love those. A little plate, a vase, some maple candies, a little game. There's a heart decoration, and you can hang a couple jackets there. All of that is going on in this um, decorative and practical piece. So we'll start with that. Um, sometimes it's good to get like tiny little pictures just to fill in a little bit of a space. This is just a fabric to give a little color, peach color, because there's so much... This is in regards to white walls, I have the vaulted ceiling here. Um, beautiful classic wooden door. I just want to keep it just as is. It's, you know, very, this is a 70s house. I want to keep that vibe. Um, this is a little tall, narrow cabinet. Anything tall and narrow that can fit by a doorway is great also to just grab it. And it holds supplies in the cabinet there. Um, you can put a canvas picture on the ground. They don't always have to be hung up. But I needed something a little jazzy down there. Little baskets can be put anywhere. You could get them at Goodwill. They're like a dollar. Just fill in those little holes. There's so much hardscape with the stucco and the wood that I feel like you always need greenery all throughout the house. This is a silk ficus. Ficus are just really popular plants in the United States. It looks pretty real, so I was willing to pay a little more for a, a better one. And you can put LED lights on them so they twinkle at night. That's a great idea. But I need, need a little something-something to, you know, soften up all this hardscape everywhere. Everywhere. So think of greenery in those terms. A uh, little magazine rack there. It's really nice to have, get some organization out of the chaos of all the magazines and flyers and pamphlets we have all throughout our house. Um, here's a picture of a strawberry festival. This is kind of personal to me because um, every year my family would go to it. So it's nice to have those personal touches. Um, I got lucky. I got this house had a Big chain light already installed that's very 70s. I love it. I found these little birds like robins or bluebirds on the wall. Um, they could be a little bigger. I know that, but, you know, I really liked them. So I bought those. Here's this, like, old-fashioned steam engine. It's awesome. I love that. Um, you can hang a wind chime indoors. They don't have to be outdoors. You can... Think outside the box. That's why I keep showing you these vignettes. That adds a lot of jazz in that boring corner. And remember, we talk about jazzing up our corners. Um, here's a nice, it's such a beautiful book. And if you have a large book, go ahead and display it. Um, these really, these shelves are, are so nice. They, I can change up anything. I want to put there, and I am collecting these little old-fashioned roadsters all throughout the house, and that's a C's candy one. I told you, they have mementos if you go to the store. They have collectibles there. Um, I do collect tins as well. You can get them at estate sales for like a dollar or two. Um, I have probably 20 tins in this house. I try to pick a really fascinating design, and I love the scroll work on the wooden shelf. It's not just a boring wooden shelf. It has um, some iron scroll work going on. Um, this picture I got at a, a secondhand thrift shop for like $3, but it's got a great frame. Always check out your frames, and, um, you know, it's just a couple pieces of fruit and um, pottery. It's just classic. And I chose to hang a little bit of greenery off the top of it. I got that at Michael's and that kind of weeping willow look. And once again, I needed something to soften this whole thing up. 
That's just the ticket right there. Um, I found this little Roman column shelf. I try to snap those up whenever I can find them. They fill in the gaps, the little places where you need something small. It's all about the details. And this is a great little plate, um, a British soldier. Anything kind of classic, I, I like to display. It really adds interest to this white wall. Here's another Roadster. I just bought a little collection of them. It's so fun. I don't see anybody with these on their walls. So it's something different. You don't always want pictures. You want to mix it up. Clocks, shelves, little um, iron ornaments like this, uh, mirrors. Try to put different things on your wall. Plants. Um, here's a pop of color uh, with a silk poinsettia. It's not real, but it looks real. 